Good morning and happy Friday. I came across a devotion that was sent to me in an email and I, I really like this. So I want to share it with you in, in the, the form that it, it came to me. Not a lot of this is my words, although it's so well written, um, I'm happy uh, to share it. So hear the purity of this as it came into my heart. It is um, from the Iroquois mythology. And it's a beautiful story on how humans came to the world. So hear these words. The geese, turtles, otters, swans, ducks, and fish of all kinds were living on the earth. One night, they looked into the sky and much to their surprise, they saw a woman falling from the sky with a small bundle clutched in her hands. The geese took flight knowing that the woman was not made for the sea and caught her in their wings before she fell too far. But the geese could not carry her long, so an old turtle offered to let her rest on his shell. The animals understood that she needed land for her home, and so they called a council to discuss what could be done. The deep divers among them knew that there was mud at the bottom of the water. So one by one, they dove deep into the water in search of the mud. But the water was too deep and they returned empty handed. Some did not return at all. Finally, it was only the little muskrat left. He was the weakest diver of them all, but he bravely volunteered to go. He swam to the depths and was gone for a very long time. And then finally his limp body floated to the surface, but clutched in his tiny little hand was a clump of mud. He had given up his life to help this human. The old turtle said, put it on my back and I will hold it. So the sky woman took the mud and she spread it on the old turtle's back. So moved by this act of kindness of all of these animals, she began to dance in gratitude and thanksgiving. The mud began to grow and spread far beyond the shell, building an island and then the lands of the earth. It was the alchemy of the animals' gifts and the woman's gratitude that created the beautiful world that we now live in today. Of course, like any good guest, she did not come to earth empty-handed. For in the bundle she brought was a tiny rooting of a tree. It was the tree of life. She planted the tree and in time scattered the seeds of grass, fruits, herbs, and trees. And in this way, all living creatures had plenty to eat. And life was good. So the author of this, this devotion asked us to read the difference in, in this beautiful creation story compared to that of Eve in the Garden of Eden. That in the story of the woman, she creates a garden of well-being that is to be shared by everyone. But yet we find Eve alone in an exclusive garden, banished to the world of pain and suffering because she decided to taste its fruit. Now notice, it's the same species. It's the same earth, but they are totally different stories. Stories are powerful. Stories shape how we understand ourselves and how we understand the relationship and the world that we live in. So as we watch California and Oregon burn, as we grieve the people that are dying of COVID, as we watch the extinction of thousands of plants and animals, I pray that we find a new story of how we live in relationship to our world. Because we really are all in this together. Let us pray. O oh Lord, in the silence of this day, which is now beginning, I come to ask you for peace wisdom and strength. Today I want to look upon the world with eyes full of love, to be patient, understanding, humble, calm, and good. 
Today, I want to see beyond the appearance of your children, to see them as you yourself see them, and so to be able to appreciate the goodness of each person. Lord, close my eyes to all murmuring, guard my tongue from all evil speech, so that only those thoughts that bless may remain in me. Today, I want to be so well-intentioned and just that all those who approach me may feel your presence. Clothe me with your goodness, O Lord, and grant that during this day, I may reflect you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.